Hey guys, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, I'm stepping in for Nate this week, he had a lot going on. So, if you do not know me, my name is Christina. I'm a columnist, I do some news here and there, little tidbits and such. Um, you can call me Bean, just Bean, it's my nickname. It's a long story, so I can explain that later. Anyways, um, last week we covered Hyrule Warriors, Zelda U, and multiple questions from uh, Twitter. And Nate, I iterated on that. Um, this week we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I was given full reign to do what I want, so it's going to definitely be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, the topic I want to touch on today will include one of the articles I posted yesterday, last night. Yeah, it went up last night. It was shared on Facebook. This morning, if you did not check Zelda Informer last night, which I'm guessing most of you didn't, probably, or just wait for the Facebook notifications to come up, and then you just read what you want, because I know that's how it works, so. Anyways, one of the articles I want to touch on was the Hero Mode discussion Zelda adaptation. Um, first, I'm sorry that the title was confusing. I think really oddly, so I'm like, oh, hero mode discussion, they'll understand what I mean by it, and no, oh, I, I don't, the, the thinking wasn't going in the right direction. Anyways, what I mean by hero mode discussions is um, not talking about hero mode. Um, I'm going to take topics in the future. Right now I'm working on one that's a little controversial, I guess. Um, one of my favorite topics, which we'll get on, but hero mode discussions it refers to a really a discussion that kind of pits fans against each other a lot and that you'll see on the internet as in all the IGN videos if you all the IGN um, Zelda 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 I can't remember the name Zelda trailer for the Zelda movie all the IGN Zelda trailer movies thing YouTube videos that you see if you read the comments people are just like oh and then we actually posted a couple weeks back, I think it was, a poster from that, one of their photos. And it got oh, about 300, 400 comments. And that's what inspired me to work on this. So I've been working on it for a while. And it's definitely long. So Hero Mode Discussions does refer to something a little more controversial that pits pan fans together. Pans. Fans together. Pardon my stuttering in my speech. Oh well. So... The Zelda adaptation, I didn't really want to give everything away, because I'm weird like that. <laughs> so I wanted you to actually read the jump and then not know what it was still, so when you go in, you kind of like have to read it. And then I also apologize for it being so long. No one really wants to read over 500 words. But that's like 2,500 words, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tone it down a lot for next week. Um, so here my discussions are discussions that are pitting fans together a lot and cause a lot of arguments, though I think everything does, but some things more than others. And um, I will be touching on some other things as well today. So now that we've addressed that, I'm actually going to get started. Um, this week I actually have an old article that I wrote a really long time ago for an English class actually about this little movie. So I'm actually going to be dressing a much broader range than I did on um, last night's article, which only touched on Three subjects, um, animated, live action, if it's possible, and what production companies. I love New Line Cinema. So, um, anyways, the first question I have and to talk about is, um, considering the fact that Aiji Noma and Shigeru Miyamoto have made it known that they've considered a Zelda movie, what exactly would the fan base do if it were to be true? <laughs> Well, for starters, oh, all hell's gonna break loose, essentially. They're gonna see the trailer, people are gonna see the trailer, and they're gonna go like, Oh my god, it's happening. Oh, am I dreaming? And whatnot, and then it's gonna be like, ah, screaming. And then people are gonna be like, indifferent. So really, People are going to start looking at the trailers and going to be like, this is crazy and all excited and there's going to be nothing negative about it yet except for those few people who always go in. <laughs> These people make the world go round, my friends. They're going to go in and they're going to start analyzing the trailer frame by frame like, oh, he doesn't look exactly like Link. His jawline's too low. 
or something like that. And they'll be like, oh, the Master Sword doesn't look like it should. I mean, this should be purple, not blue. I'm like, guys, no. It, it's, it's, it's the Master Sword. It looks right. Just calm down. And then, as time goes on, again, there will be those people who are going to be like, oh, I'm going to be the first one in line at the ticket booth. I'm going to be camping out the night before in my tent. I'm going to have, like, seven cups of coffee. I'm going to play the, all the games the night before, which is so not going to happen. <laughs> No, trust me. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna buy the first one to take it. So I'm gonna be so crazy and pumped. I'm gonna get a movie theater. I'm gonna watch this. I don't care if it's bad. I just don't care. This is gonna be so cool. So cool. And those people are, are like, I'm indifferent. I don't really know. If it's good, I'll like it. If it's bad, I'll be just like, oh, well. And then there will be those people like, oh, I can't believe they did this. This sucks. They're gonna ruin the whole franchise. They're gonna ruin the games. I'm never gonna wanna play the games again because they're gonna ruin the movie. And so when I play the game, if they styled it after a game, this is, if I, I go play the game, I'm gonna think about how bad the movie was and I'm just never gonna wanna play the game again. Uh, so that's basically, <laughs> The three types that you're gonna get, but you're gonna get in between everything. Like, some people will be like, oh, this is good, but this doesn't look so good. They should probably fix that. I wish they did. Oh, well. I mean, of course, I'm not covering everyone, and yeah, you know what I mean. So the next question I have is, could the movie negatively or positively affect the games as a franchise? Well, if the movie's really good, awesome, done right, and just totally mind-blowing like we all hope it will be one day Agio Numa included it could actually help the franchise a lot I mean it could ensure that the games go on for like another 50 years at least or so I mean I was talking about this with um, one of my friends and like this would literally ensure Zelda for the rest of eternity I'm like oh, it's pushing it <laughs> but at least for this uh, generation this looks up until like 2100 when we're all old people. But if the movie's bad, oh, that's a different story. If it sucks and it's just like, oh, what was that? I never want to see that again. I can't get these images out of my head. That was so bad. That's going to negatively affect the franchise, actually, because like what I said earlier about <laughs> people who hate everything. I never want to play this game again. I mean, you'll even lose profit if the movie's bad because no one's going to want to go and see it. But if it's good, it'll be like Avatar, you know, the blue people, the giant Smurfs. I'm going to be like, how oh, they extended it in theaters. I'm like, what? They extended that? I haven't seen that yet. I probably should. And then I went, and go, go and I went to see it when it was extended. It was so good. Oh now I see why they extended it. So if it's good enough to get extended, it's good. It means more money. Which means it's really good. Um, if the movie's popular, then people who aren't familiar with the game, they're gonna be like, oh, maybe I should see this. And like friends are gonna be like, you gotta see this, it's so cool, I don't care if you don't know anything about the game. And they're gonna grow, and they're gonna be like, wow, that was really cool. Maybe I should play the games. And then they're gonna start playing the games, and then the fan base is gonna grow, and Nintendo will have more incentive to make more games. And it's just gonna print money, man. And that's what makes the world go round. Not really. But yeah, in this day and age. So, but if it's not, mm, you don't wanna see that happen. Okay, so, last question for today. I decided to throw out a few due to the fact that this video was getting long. And don't mind the drastic light change. I know I'm a bit of a shadow, so I just ignore it. So, without further ado, our last question is, with all that we have covered, is Hollywood really ready for a Zelda movie? Absolutely not, man. No. Don't even think about it. Maybe in, like, ten years at least. But no, not, like, in today's world. Have you seen what they're doing with, like, everything? They're, Hollywood is pooping it out, like, big time. Like, stuff is... Ugh, what did I just watch kind of thing. Another reason is like the demographic who doesn't know anything about Zelda. Like that can stop the movie in its early stages of production and etc. Like even before they have just like thought about who to even cast or whatever or held like auditions or anything. 
Because if there's too many people in the demographic who know nothing about Zelda, and who I think won't even come to see it because they just don't know anything, even if there's that supporting fan base that will come and see it the night of, it can be deemed too risky and they'd like raise our dreams and hopes and we get all excited for a little bit, but then they're just gonna crush it like a grape and they're gonna be all sad and no one's gonna like them. And another reason to do with the demographic is what kind of content to put into the film. Because if we choose something that's like in the middle of the timeline with like no backstory whatsoever, they're gonna be so confused. They're gonna be sitting there like, so trippy, what's going on? You don't wanna see that. You wanna see, oh, I'm learning things. This is so cool. I should play the games when I get home and buy them. Yeah, that's what you wanna see. You don't wanna see trippy. What's going on? Why did I spend my money? Yeah. Another thing is if the people who are going to start the movie and everything, like, make it, you know, if they don't really care about the game, they don't have a passion for the game, that basically just means they just want to make it to print money. And we don't want someone to make a Zelda movie who just wants money. We want someone who's passionate about the game and wants to make the movie from the game just because they want to see it done right. Because if you if you you want it done right, do it yourself, man. Come on. So one of our fans have got to step up and do it for us. I mean, you never know who it's gonna be. Anyways, um, if you have someone who's just printing money, it's gonna be crap. But if you have someone who's passionate about it, like everyone who was yesterday for Zelda's birthday, happy 28th, Zelda. I had to say that. I'm sorry. Anyways. If you have someone who's going to be passionate about it, it's going to be good. But if you have someone who just wants to print money, it's going to suck. The quality is going to go to the dumps. And then it's going to last in the box office for like two weeks. Because you're going to have like, Miley Cyrus' Princess Zelda. You don't want to see Zelda on a wrecking ball. No one does. That's a disgrace to humanity. Don't do that. Please. Anyone, please. Don't even Photoshop a picture of that. Well, someone probably will now because it's the internet. <sighs> Lastly, the fan base is the reason. One of the biggest reasons. The fan base is so split on whether this is a good idea or not. And there's literally this giant pit in between them where they're like firing bomb arrows at each other. And it's just like bomb arrows of insults and really good, ac re actually really good arguments on why there shouldn't be a Zelda movie, and why there should be, and why it would be so cool, but why it would suck, and just nah, man. So really, we're not ready. No one is ready for a Zelda movie. Nintendo isn't even ready for a Zelda movie. Maybe in 10 years? Who knows? 10 years? When a few people are out of college, and who knows? Someone who's young, the, the right person's just gotta come along, guys. And clearly we don't have that right person yet, so we're really just not ready for a Zelda movie. We're just gonna have to wait, I guess. So that concludes this week's video. Um, feel free to answer any of the questions that I had asked in this video and addressed myself, because I love to hear what other people have to say. Also, feel free to ask any questions you have on anything Zelda. If it's not Zelda, it's gonna be like, why are you asking that here? This is Zelda? Not calculus website fan base. I don't even think there is a fan base for calculus, guys. If you are a fan of calculus, you're really smart. And I appreciate your smartness. But I'm never taking calculus, hopefully, if I can get out of it. So, if you have any questions, any comments, please post anything. We love to hear criticism. We love to hear compliments are very nice and the internet lacks compliments yeah the internet needs compliments guys but i do love mean comments they're fun anyways i will hopefully see you sometime in the future um link to the article that i was talking about in the description if i remember that which i probably will so just check the description for the link to the article and visit Zelda Informer every once in a while and keep up with the latest Zelda news, theories, and just celebrate Zelda.